Test firing in three, two, one. So what's going on everyone? This is Archery Customs and today we are in the building because man, it has been raining for three days straight. But today we have a very special build. This is the very first magnetic crossbow. Let me show you its features. And so here it is. This is my prototype magnetic crossbow. To my knowledge and research, this is the very first and only magnetic powered crossbow. Starting from your right to left, this thing is made of three quarter plywood, very basic, and it has a handle that's fairly functional. This is a one piece trigger. The string locks in there and it pushes it out of the groove. Up top, we have a classic red dot with a Picatinny rail I just screwed right to it. This is your arrow holder spring thingy. I don't even, I don't know what that's called. But yeah, we have that thing. <laughs> and then we have the limb and magnet. So in order for this to work, the limb has to be made entirely of metal. Otherwise, the magnets would not attract it. Now, the limb also has to be somewhat resetting. It doesn't have to be powerful or fast because the magnets do the work, but it still has to return back to its state. We'll cock it back for you guys. And you can see that there is 12 fairly strong neodyme magnets that are stacked into two, and I welded this frame myself. So you may be wondering, because the limb is flexible, does it actually need the magnets to work? No, it doesn't. It does work without them, but it shoots about nine meters per second. With them, depending on the configuration, because you can change them and it changes the speed, and with them, it shoots 14 meters per second. So you're looking at five meters per second increase. That doesn't sound like a lot, I know it, but it's a very small crossbow, and that's 50% of its power increase. Imagine having a 300 FPS crossbow, a 50% increase would mean it shoots 450 FPS. And you're not really changing the draw weight much. And also what's cool about this, you can dry fire. It doesn't hurt anything. Now that I've gave everyone the rundown and the features, let's shoot it. Color pencils. <laughs> what else would it shoot? <laughs> it's so cute. Chronograph test. Show you guys a close up of what I see. Now that begs the question where do we go from here? The world's ending. I'm trying to film a video and the literal world is ending. I wonder if you can hear that on audio. If you can, then probably get in a tornado. So in spite of the world ending, let's try to continue filming this video. So, all right, what was I gonna say? Although this crossbow is fairly weak, it is actually highly efficient. What I mean is the draw weight to speed ratio is fairly high. Now, that begs the question, where do we go from here? Well, this is Archery Customs and we have to ramp it up. So here's what I plan to do. So I plan to use electromagnets. So take a compound crossbow for an example. The string that comes off the module, you can attach it to a piece of steel and have a magnet to where you draw it back with no draw weight and then the magnet pulls the limbs in as far as you need. You could have a three or 400 pound crossbow with no draw weight. Obviously this is built for the future, maybe within the next month. I gotta see where I can source the magnets and how to build the stock because it's gonna get kind of complicated holding magnets. But anyways, that's it for this video today, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, whatever. Last shot. Holy crap. All right, thanks and goodbye.